Some of you heard me mention Logos Bible software, and maybe you saw the screencast where you could download a basic version for free. I just wanted to give you a little, if you haven't done that yet, <clears throat> I wanted to give you a little taste of, of what uh, the Logos Bible software can do. Now, you know, this is, is pretty high end software, and depending on how your what kind of computer you have, it might run well or it might run a little slow. But I wanted to give you an idea of what you could do with a uh, Logos Bible software. And so here uh, is opened up to my homepage. And I've been using Logos for 15, 20 years. So my homepage will probably look different than yours because it's pulling information out of the resources, the books that you have in your Logos library. And I'll also mention that this is tightly integrated with the Faith Life groups. So it's all by the same company. Faith Life, they do the Bible software, they do the, the Faith Life groups, they do the Faith Life TV, they, they do a lot of stuff trying to help us as followers of Jesus grow in our faith and learn. And I think that's, I think that's important. So as you can see down the left-hand side, uh, there's various information, some op options that I have, things I can do. Uh, some of this uh, connects in with Faith Life, others uh, of it doesn't. Uh, you scroll down the main page, Yours will probably look a lot different than mine, but it gives you some options, uh, some things you can take a look at, some things you can uh, study a little bit further. Some of this stuff comes from your library. Some of it comes directly from Faith Life. And uh, they, they try to, they say if you're new to Faith Life, this is our, to Logos Bible Study, this is a good place to start uh, because you can learn quite a bit just scrolling, scrolling through and reading some of the articles. It's kind of like a newspaper, I guess. Up here, you can see uh, next to the Logos, there is a little box. All right. It says enter pa passage or topic. So if I enter something like, uh, let's say uh, Luke chapter 11, and we want to learn about the Lord's Prayer. So Luke chapter 11, one through four. And what it's doing is it is building uh, what they call a passage guide. Now yours will probably look a lot different than mine because I have quite a, I have a lot of books in my library. If you're just getting started, you're not going to have that many, but it, it gives a nice uh, way, pulls the scripture up, there's scripture. And here are places in my commentaries that mention Luke 11, one through four and Faith Life Study Bible is one of them, which you do have access to if you downloaded uh, the the bundle and so you can read from this commentary I mean from yeah from this a study Bible and you see there's a little a little plus here and I can click a plus and it will give you uh, more information now if it has a little lock symbol it's because you don't own that resource source and so I do not own this resource uh, and of course, you know, you can go into, uh, you know, if you're really interested, you can go in and purchase that resource from, from Logos. But you can see it does, uh, you know, it talks about biblical people in, in the passage. Uh, and so it will build uh, information about that, uh, events, things, Bible places. It just gives you a lot of things that you can uh, explore uh, to learn more about this passage that you're interested in. Uh, if you go back up here to home, uh, that will scroll. Your home page comes back and you can look at maybe some of the other stuff or do another uh, passage. Um, Matthew 13, let's do uh, the parable of the sower or the soils, however you want to see it, say that. And again, uh, it's building that list of uh, of commentaries and uh, there's more stuff for the biblical people. And again, this will look different depending on the types of resources that you have in your library. Well, that's just a little sampling, a little bit uh, of, of Logos Bible study. Uh, so it might be worth checking it out, especially since you can start with for free. And then later, if uh, you want to get a little bit deeper or uh, purchase more resources uh, you know, that you're enabled to do that. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And I might, you know, if, if you find these little 
little screencast helpful, uh, just let me know and I'll do some more.